Hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Today I want to get into Jungkook's reaction to smoking and talk about how he feels about it. And also an alleged photo of Taeyang smoking, which I am not posting, but we're just going to talk about it. And then we have to get into what happened with V and Olivia Rodrigo backstage and all that fun stuff. So hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to discuss is Olivia Rodrigo and Taeyang. This was probably one of the biggest moments of the 2022 Grammys that seemed to set ablaze the internet and get everyone talking about this little thing. BTS was obviously performing that night and BTS was performing Butter and during the performance Taeyang was sat next to Olivia and began acting smooth like Butter. I don't know if the intention of the skit was to make it appear like Taeyang was trying to pick her up as that would totally make sense with the song or if this was just a fun interaction that they wanted to share with another famous person. Let me know what you think of the interaction. Either way it was super cute and for those who had initially thought there might have been drama between Olivia and Taeyang, there is no drama between the two. Olivia seems really nice and our boys don't hate anyone. There's of course people who were upset that Taeyang was interacting with her but more so in a jealous way. This is expected and normal but keep in mind that this is a skit and it's a skit. Even if they kissed it's still just a skit. There were some people online who made this appear like it was a big deal and in my understanding it's less of a big deal. People were mad at the news articles calling this moment flirty, saying it was not flirty, it's a skit. It can be both. You can flirt in a skit. I don't personally see anything wrong with his interaction with her and I love that he feels more comfortable having interactions with American female celebrities and not feeling worried that he has to hide or not to do these interactions in fear of backlash. There's already this tiny stigma that exists that Asian men are afraid of women and that they're not typically smooth, suave, or manly which simply is the exact opposite. If you've ever watched any K-dramas you'd very quickly see that this is not the case for a lot of men in Korea. And if you simply watch this Grammy Olivia and Taeyang skit, you'd see this is simply not the case either. Taeyang is super smooth. There were people talking about if Taeyang did this to them, they would take Taeyang backstage and be like, what are we? But luckily, I think Olivia is in a relationship, I could be wrong, and Taeyang is married to his career, so that wouldn't happen. But other backstage moments with Olivia and Taeyang ended up surfacing as well. There were several Getty images of Olivia and Taeyang backstage together. There were one where we see Taeyang with a mic, so this this was either after his performance or before his performance and they were just kind of going over what they would do when the camera is on them. I think these backstage photos are so cute and fun to look at. I'm hoping that Taeyang and Olivia spent a lot of time together and hung out. Even though BTS did not win a Grammy, I think it's so important for BTS to collaborate and befriend all these famous American celebrities. I believe BTS would be more rooted in America then and people will finally begin to accept them. For example, my theory, aside from the fact that the group Blackpink are all gorgeous women that fit the ideal standard of beauty in America. They also speak English very well and are friends with a lot of American celebrities. And I feel like this is why Blackpink tends to get less of the racist hate in America and none of the go back to your country nonsense that I see BTS get sometimes, but that is just my theory. There were other backstage photos that were leaked and photographed involving Just Tang. This was something that came out in the midst of the award show and right before the winner of the best pop duo was announced. Doja Cat ended up winning if you didn't know and BTS did not win this unfortunately. However, I am not surprised. I didn't think they would win. Grammys are not going to fix their conservative mindset in just one year. But in the midst of all this, apparently a stalker fan was caught recording Taeyang backstage smoking with a staff. The photos are online. They're literally everywhere but I will not post them here. It seems it was taken without Taeyang's permission so it's quite controversial right now. People called this person who took the photo a Sasang or stalker fan that attempted to break into the Grammys and stalk Tam. I don't know how likely this is as the Grammy venue would have so much security that it would probably only be people who were validated to be on set but then again that's not impossible for Sasangs to get a pass. So I am not entirely sure if it is because while it could be a stalker the Grammys are also filled with paparazzi and likely this is who took it. The paparazzi that were already there but who knows. There was also a theory that the photos that were shared were photoshopped and not real. This is because Tang suffers from a skin condition that would likely make cigarettes not comfortable for him as he could potentially break out in a rash from smoking. So this is another theory that we don't want to rule out is that these photos are fabricated. Now Tang's smoking rumors are not anything new. It was alleged a while ago that he had a vape in his photo. It was a photo that Jimin took and people saw something that looked like a vape in the corner of the photo. I believe it was deleted but people had theories like
like that it was a USB and most people didn't think it was a vape. My opinion is who cares? He's an adult. He can smoke. So if he decides to smoke a cigarette at the award show, that is totally okay. Cigarettes are legal everywhere. And I remember when I wanted to work at a production studio or be a cameraman for a news station, I asked people for the best advice they could give me for networking with people in the industry. They told me to carry a lighter with me because everyone smokes in entertainment. So this is not surprising. I was surprised at the amount of people who were upset because it's legal and it's not something that he should be ashamed of for doing necessarily, especially in America where it's not even that frowned upon. It's just a normal vice like drinking. Of course, there were armies who were not upset or mad at him per se, but hoping that he would quit. I also agree with this. As a singer or as a person, smoking is not great for your health. I would opt to not do that. And I can imagine that is something that is his choice and it's his life. I'm not giving excuses and telling people to smoke, but you can imagine how stressful his job is with the amount of criticism that he gets. He'll get criticism for smoking and he'll get criticism for doing other things. So might as well do whatever he wants. Just to be clear, I am for people trying to quit smoking. And for those who have, I commend you. That is literally the strongest thing you can do. I can't imagine quitting an addiction that would be that strong and hard to quit. And that shows how strong of a person you are. Jungkook previously talked about his feelings about smoking. It was during a talk show. Jungkook's parents were brought up and Jungkook talked about his dad's old bad habits. The main one that Jungkook hated was his dad smoking. He asked his dad to quit and was really upset about the smoking. And just like that, the dad went ahead and quit. And it shows how strong the two's bond is. I do want to add here that this is what everyone believes Jungkook's reaction would be to Tang smoking. They do believe that Jungkook would be sad or really upset over the alleged Tang smoking and worried about Tang's health. This is not much of a stretch as I can imagine. Maybe this is something that was said to Tang by Jungkook behind the stage if Tang does smoke a lot often. Personally, if I knew any of my friends smoke, I would definitely try really hard to ask them to quit and be really upset if they didn't. I don't condone my methods, but I would almost always tease them about it and eventually some of my friends were just sick of it and quit, but they also stopped being my friends. So I don't know if that worked. Do you think Jungkook would be sad if the smoking was true given how he felt about his dad smoking or do you believe he doesn't care as much anymore? Either way, I think it's easy to sit here and judge other people's vices or things and really bring them down for it, but it's not something that is up to us to judge. Whether a singer decides to smoke or drink, that was their decision. We shouldn't be upset that they're quote unquote setting a bad example. We should be teaching our kids not to imitate everything that they see, teach them to look into it and then ultimately make their own decision. It's not like a five-year-old who sees Tang smoke is going to be able to buy cigarettes anyway. And if Tang was smoking in this picture, this is not the first time anyone has done this. How many kids have parents who smoke? How many kids have seen people smoke on the street? We are all influencers in a way and everyone we meet, we are influencing those people. So it's not exactly fair to put all the blame on celebrities and say they're perpetuating something bad. Let's look into ourselves first, make sure we're perfect before blaming others. When we can also influence small kids when we, let's say, don't recycle or use a lot of plastic, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out my page Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.